you know, maybe it's me, maybe I'm not too bright, but I always get messed up whenever I have to download and install Node.js, which is why I put this tutorial together. I want to show you how to download and install Node.js on your Windows machine and even start up a project with Node.js. I'm, I think I'm just gonna create a, a basic React Hello World application just to test that everything is working properly. But this is the problem I always run into here. I always feel dumb when I do it. I just Googled download and installed Node.js, which takes me to the right spot. It says, hey, do you want to download Node.js version 20? That's the long-term support release, LTS. That's the, the right one to go with. Do you want to install it on Windows? I'm like, yeah. And then using F and M, like no, uh, brew, chocolatey, docker. It's like, no, I... I don't have any of those things installed. And then I end up like going down this rabbit hole of how do I install F and M and how do I install chocolatey? And apparently install to install chocolatey, the best way to do it is install node. So then I remember, oh, pre-built installer. And it's like, that is what I need. So just click on that and download the installer. You can see node right there. It's been downloaded. How big is that file? 25.3 megs, not big at all. I so downloaded Postgres a little earlier if you want to use that database. Got a nice little tutorial on that. And it says, hey, you want to install Node.js? I'm like, yes, I do. Do you want to accept the license agreement? Yes, I do. Where do you want to put it? Just accept the default. I hate program files. That space in program files has messed me up. So I always install into a folder called underscore tools. You don't have to. This is just me. It's like, because when you, I'm going to click next here. Uh, when you write a script, uh, and sometimes the, the space in words will mess the script up. I've just <laughs> lost too much time in my life to that. So I don't like program files, but that's fine. And you can see here, it'll add node to the path, put in NPM package manager is what I'm really interested in, core manager. Just accept the defaults here. Click next, inst automatically install some of the necessary tools for chocolatey. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to install any of those extra tools, but go right ahead, do it. I won't judge you if you do. You can judge me for not doing it if you like. And the install is all pretty fast. So this will just take a couple of seconds to do. And by the way, I'm working on a third generation 3770 Intel machine. It's about 11 years old. So the software requirements here are not extensive. Okay. Looks like I'm done. I'm going to click the finish button. And I don't know, maybe we need a little smoke test to make sure this actually installed. Do I get anything actually under program files here? Oh, look at that. Node.js is there. Sometimes people look at this and wonder how old my computer is. I got a, uh, an old start menu program to make this look like uh, an older version of Windows. Looks like everything's installed, but I'm from Missouri. I like to be shown these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mosey on over to my apps folder. You can go to any folder on your system. I have Git installed. So I've got the tool to open Git bash here, but you know, maybe you don't. So why don't we open PowerShell and get PowerShell opened. Um, and from PowerShell, <laughs> that's awfully large. Um, I'm just going to CD into that apps folder. And I'm in the apps folder, control L to clear everything up. And I'm just going to type in NPM in it, react app, smoke test. So this is actually just going to install uh, all of the tools that I need in order to run a react application. That's a, a JavaScript framework. So it's not a framework. It's a library if you want to be technical about it. Um, the other thing too is that when in order to run your React application, click yes to install the required packages. In order to run the React application, it has to boot up an Express.js server. So this is not only going to just test that that node was installed, it's going to test that I can download and install packages. It's actually going to force a, an application server to run and I can actually just play around with a little React as well. So give this a minute and uh, we will be cooking with gas. Okay, it looks like everything was installed. So I do a little ls command and it does say that there's a folder there. 
named smoke test. Let's do that again. Okay, I'm going to CD into smoke test. And I do believe that when React was installed, it said, hey, you know, um, if you actually go into that folder and you say npm start, you can actually start up your React application. So I'm all good to do that. Control L again. I'm in that smoke test folder. You can see the smoke test folder created right up there. It's got all of the good stuff in it, including all of the source code. So I'll type in npm start. Okay, and it looks like React is now running on localhost 3000. Uh, saw a couple of little error messages there in the window as things were booting up. That's just standard stuff to has to do with different packages that this uses. I think I had to allow access to my computer ports, but this is now running. It says edit SRC app JS and save to reload. Well, <laughs> someone who does what he's told. So in that SRC folder, there's app.js. I'm going to open that up with notepad++. That is the file right there. Let's take a quick look at it. And it says here, hey, if you uh, play around with that file, this will save and reload. So let's do that. Instead of edit SRC, let's type in hello world. Do a little hello world react application. Control S, save the file. Now it changes to hello world. Now instead of learn react, I'm going to say go learn Java and head over to www.theserverside.com, which is a place I'm the editor in chief. I don't think I introduced me myself, by the way. I'm Cameron McKenzie, the editor in chief at the server side. Um, head on over there for great React content. And now we've actually got a little Hello World application running. It says go learn Java with one of our links. You can even type in Hello Beautiful World as well. And as soon as I save it, you'll notice that that React application runs up right away. So there you go. That is how you install Node. And that's even how you can get a, a Node application running on a server. That's just a simple React application. By the way, if you want to learn more about React, I've got a, a deeper, more in-depth introduction to React tutorial where we learn about uh, methods and add buttons and variables and state. Um, and... Uh, Anyways, uh, check that out if you want to learn more about React. But that's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, maybe uh, leave a comment. But that's how easy it is to get up and running with Node. Go have fun writing all of your different JavaScript applications.